Ivan, your thoughts on that one? Um, can you be more direct? Your thoughts on <laughs> how the game went? Did, do you seem like you frustrated at the end, your side, that they just couldn't get over the top of South? They defended really well. Yeah, yeah, they did. It was a yeah, obviously a tough, tight game. Um, where it could have gone either way, you know. I thought I was pretty happy to go into ten all at half time. I thought, um, yeah, they had probably more opportunities than we did in the first half uh, for varying re various reasons. Um, yeah, in the second half, I thought we yeah had them. Fortunately, we gave up a try early in the second half. That was a that was disappointing. Um, then for the rest of the half, I thought we were just grinding away and kind of had them probably where we wanted. Uh, come up with yeah probably three or four opportunities where we yeah just did nice that. You know, we like to think that we probably should. So that's probably enough on a, in a game like that. Was there a sense of panic? Do you think this side hasn't trailed in a lot of games this year? Uh, no, I don't think there was a sense of panic. It was just, you know, uh, just they yeah, just couldn't quite ice it. Or, you know, a lot of times in the game, you know, they 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 were able to get a leg up for, you know, just little things, high tackles, little. Supposed crusher tackles, that kind of stuff. That happened so often tonight, where we just, particularly in the first half, as a period there, I really thought we were gaining ascendancy, and I think they came up with a, yeah, they came up with a one-on-one -on -one strip, which is a good play by them, and then, um, you know, a false crusher. Um, so we just, yeah, it was one of those nights, you know. So, but credit to South, so they obviously put a lot into that game, and yeah. You say false crusher, but. Reality is they could be costly suspensions wise. They've been pretty harsh on crushers. I think it's well, I think it was Isaiah, Liam Martin as well got done. They, they well, I was just talking about Liam's one. Like uh, you know, I don't, I don't know about the other ones, but that was yeah, that was not a crusher tackle, not even anywhere near it. So he didn't even put on a board, I don't think. So oh, you've got to go around the, the long way now. Historically, it's been impossible. Uh, yeah, they can they do it? Can they be possible? Very hard to do. You said it was impossible. Sorry, I didn't mean my, my mistake. Um, it's, are they up for it? Are they good enough side to get to get back up and get get this uh, get this premiership? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's the challenge ahead of us. You know, we um, we had to win three games to yeah, once we hit the finals, with three games to win it, and nothing's changed. So, you know, I don't think we lose too many friends from tonight. So, um, as I said, I think it was really just come down to opportunities um, that we yeah did nice that we. Yeah, probably you need to win those games. I mean, that's just just facts. So, yeah, if we tidy that up, I think uh, we'll give ourselves every chance to go well again next week. Were there opportunities because of stagnations in attack, or was it South's defence that were up for it tonight? Uh, oh, I'm sure they're up for it. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Um, but yeah, we had. Yeah, we had. There was definitely things that we could control that we yeah could have done better. So, yeah. How's um, Nathan after that shot from Keon Kalamatangi? He looked a bit ginger after it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he's OK. Yeah. There was a lot of talk about that during the week, Ivan, about Nathan being targeted and the, the blocks and stuff. Was, is that what you're kind of referring to when you talk about Nathan getting hit at times, probably unfairly? Um, yeah, I mean, I was probably guilty of uh, what... Um, yeah, I was personally... Guilty of trying to, uh, I guess, put our case forward uh, this week only because I had to, because I had to, had to respond. Um, it's probably not the forum to talk about it, but the NRL has got to make a decision on uh, whether they're going to allow coaches to um, deliberately manipulate uh, referees and try and influence them. Um, coaches do it because they can, you know. We get fined afterwards, uh, but pre game, um, yeah, you can. It's pretty much open slather, I think. So, um, you know, we were, our boys were certainly being spoken to on the run for a, a stuff that we never get done for. So, I'd suggest that, um, yeah, that type of thing has an influence. As I said, I was guilty of it myself because I had to, because you know we had to respond. But um, I think the game could do itself a favour and come down on any any coach who wants to try and deliberately uh, influence a match official before a game. So in, ter in terms of public commentary, Ivan, or in terms of direct direct yeah. approaches to... Well, no, public commentary. It's, you know, I don't have to... And I don't, you know, I'm actually not blaming anybody. Um, maybe the game likes that stuff, you know, I get it. It's, you know, you guys all froth over it, so it's 
it's good clickbait and all that kind of thing. But um, I think it's terribly unfair on referees um, that they, you know, that, that we're able to do that. To them. Do you think it was unfair that Wayne kind of at points insinuated Penrith are cheating? The fact that he's saying that was practice and that it's obviously a legal move to move sideways and block plays. Well, has he been sanctioned for it? No, so no, he's allowed to. Do, if you allow it to happen, it will happen. Yeah, so that's up to the NRL. If, if they don't care, that's fine. Like yeah, you know, yeah. Like I said, I probably shouldn't have brought it up, but I believe in it. You know, I, I think the referees' department spend way too much time um, going through complaints from coaches every week. And yeah, I occasionally do it. We're probably a one out of ten. Uh, and I think it's not how, how is the referees department supposed to get better when they basically that you know they're clogged up with constantly um, having to deal with you know clubs you know complaining uh, throughout the week. So, but that's something for the NRL to work out. How wary of that tonight were you? Either not before the game, were you concerned that? No, no it's, it's not. It's not just tonight. It's, it goes on all year, but it's obviously heightened at finals time. You just got to go back in history. It always happens. But as I said, it's a, if it's allowed to happen, then. You know, I can't, you can't really, uh, I can't knock anyone for doing it, yeah. You think having two refs out there, like we've seen in seasons past, might help police that? No, but that's got nothing to do with referees. Like, it's, it's whether you protect referees. If, if you allow public manipulation and indirectly influencing them, then I would say that you're only human if you're a referee. And, you know, get phone calls to say, you know, you need to tidy this area up. Why is that? Because someone's complained about us. Yeah. Um, with your football this week, Ivan, what's the next step for you guys? I mean, it's a confident group. Lots of players have played very well in big games. You know, what what do you do this week to get the get them back um, back on track and and turn in a good performance? Yeah, just pretty much like any game. Um, yeah, you're right. You know, I've got full faith in the boys, and just talking to them in there, they, they know, they, they know we we had them where we wanted, we just couldn't get it done. So, you know, you you've got to be able to do that. So, um, but we'll back ourselves in that position again, and we'll do better. So that's that's our challenge and our task this week. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.